Hi everyone, it's Dickens. You guys know that I make videos on YouTube on personal improvement and digital well-being to share with you guys tips and ideas to make yourselves better and to get the most and the best out of your digital lives. Today I have a short video for you guys. I'm going to share with you some tips and ideas on how I get up before 5 a.m. and uh, still have some energy left to carry me through the day and not feel like a zombie, literally. So, let's get into it. So guys, it's been proven everywhere and the trend among most successful people is early to bed and early to rise. It's been shown that uh, getting up early helps to increase productivity and helps you to get more done through the day. We adults need about six hours to a maximum of eight hours of sleep in a night. Once you exceed that amount of time, mostly you are losing time which you would put into something more productive. For a lot of guys, getting up earlier than 7 to 8 a.m. tends to make them feel quite stressed out and they can't bring themselves to do a lot of stuff during the day. So maybe you'd like to join the 5 a.m. team and develop a morning routine, but you just can't bring yourself to rising up early. What could you do? Let me share with you a few ideas that I've personally found to be of help in terms of kickstarting your day, in terms of gaining that energy in the morning, and uh, literally just having a good start. So really, the first thing you guys need to do is to sleep early and have a consistent bedtime. Once you get into bed at around 10, 6 hours of sleep lands you comfortably at 4 a.m. Even if you do 8 hours, you would still get up at about 6 a.m., which is, which is fair. But the first and the best secret to getting up early is actually to get into bed early. It has been noted that the hours before midnight, be it one or two hours, give you a refreshing sleep. And so if you dive deep at about 10, that is optimum time to to get some nice sleep for the night. And really, how can you get to actually sleep that early? The first thing that comes to my mind is actually electronics. If you can be able to discipline yourself to put away that phone and get into bed, in a matter of a week or two, you'll have built that habit and you'll be able to sleep as early as even 9 or 10 p.m. The biggest problem a lot of us face in terms of getting to actually sleep is the blue light that comes from our phones. The blue light makes your brain unable to create the environment and produce the hormones necessary for you to sleep. If need be, let that phone remain in the living room as you get into bed or just put it aside or even just set your phone such that at around 9 or 10 you have a reminder to just put it away and not access it anymore. Another big impediment to sleeping early is actually late dinners. If you can be able to take your dinner at about 7 to 8, then you'll have adequate time to kickstart your digestion and be able to start sleeping comfortably at around 9 or 10. Another way to have a consistent bedtime is to develop a bedtime routine that will work for you. Your bedtime routine might include reading a book, for example. You might say that at around 9.30 p.m. you launch your favorite book for 30 minutes and that will just get you into the mood for sleeping by 10 p.m. So for me, those are among the things that I do to get me that good start. But when it comes to getting up early in the morning, I actually just employ some simple ideas. And uh, I have found that they work as simple as they are. The first is uh, just having two alarms. I have my first alarm at about 4.50 a.m. And the second alarm is a few minutes later. So those two alarms work for me. At first it was a bit stressful. I noticed that I would just uh, snooze and go back to sleep. But over time it has continued to become simpler to actually get up. In fact, sometimes I notice that I actually get up even before the first alarm at 4.50 a.m. And I don't feel stressed. I don't feel like I am pushing myself too much. 
it just comes naturally i think because it is a habit that has developed so guys in as much as it might sound like it is difficult for you to get up early to do something you will find that after about two months it becomes a habit many psychologists tend to agree that it takes about one to three months to build a habit if you guys can remember when we were in high school we got up at about 4 30 to 5 a.m and it wasn't really an issue so it's just a matter of building the habit over time something else i do is to actually have a motivation to getting up early you'll have a hard time getting up if there's really nothing you're getting up to do remember that getting up early does not equal productivity you must intentionally use your time well and that's why i'm saying if you have a productive activity that motivates you to get up early then you will find it simpler to build the habit so if you're actually a student like me your academic work can be your motivation for getting up early so ensure that you plan your morning nicely so that you do not just sacrifice your sleep but get yourself doing something constructive it doesn't mean that you have to just get up at 4 a.m and launch deep into reading or whatever other business you are getting up to do but you sometimes need some 5 to 10 minutes to actually just get in the mood so just ensure that you have a plan for what you'll actually do when you get up don't get up and get stranded these ideas apply especially to those of us who are in situations or positions in which they have the luxury to overdo sleep I know there is some of you guys in Nairobi, London and such other places where you have to get up at 4 a.m. to beat the traffic jam and uh, because you can't get out of your work early you probably arrive at your house at around 8 or 10 p.m. and uh, after you do whatever you need to do at night you sleep at midnight. If you can only get 6 hours of sleep then you do not have to squeeze it further to get four hours because you want to even get up earlier. Building an early morning routine is good and productive and essential for those of us who do the usual eight to five day and have the whole night and could even sleep till 8 a.m. So really at the end what you need to do is build the habit slowly it will take you one month, it may take you three months depending on your personality, how you process new habits. But at the end, if you're like me, you'll actually find it beneficial and you'll be able to accomplish much more by actually just getting up earlier than you normally would. So guys, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, kindly subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss future videos. See you in the next one and as always, no pressure.